Hi guys, uh, on this video, I'm going to be showing you how I analyze boom and crash. So on this example, I'm going to use like crash 500 and then I'll start on the higher time frame, the highest one of which is the daily for me or uh, in the way that I trade. So the overall uh, thing that I do is that I look at the overall market structure. As you all know, I like my market structure. So we have this overall descending channel as you can see around this point so the first thing that i do is that i look forward to uh, getting like my overall market structure as you can see here we have the overall descending channel and then if i draw out like the overall structures at the top around here as you can see we had an ascending channel around here whereby it sold off very nicely and then i'll be uh, drawing like the structures that are obvious to me, as you all know, this is how like you practice if you don't have like any uh, trading view platform that you can just practice or backtest. So you can just do this every time when you analyze, you draw out like all the structures that are obvious to you. As you can see, this is uh, these are some obvious structures that I see like in this uh, chat. So as you can see, I'm drawing them out. Just showing you guys, this is simple practice, but it's highly effective. So as you can see, we are around this area here. And then as you can see, we haven't reached like this point. And then I simply did that by just throwing out like the overall structures. And then as you can see, we had this nice push to the downside with me, which means this is the corrective move to clearly impulse to the downside and complete like the overall lows. And then as you look at the, uh, multi-touch confirmation we have this touch here we have this touch we had an ems around here and then we can have like a third touch around here and then as you all know crash 500 is always crashing to the downside so the more high momentum is to the downside but you can just trade it you can buy and sell at any point we are where you get like some overall structures so we have this high point and then we have this low point around here as you can see here and then what i have also is this ascending channel around this point here as you can see we have this ascending channel here and then initially what we're looking for is to get like those selling opportunities as you can see we had like this impulse impulsive push to the downside so which means we can have like a corrective move on the lower time frame of which is here and then we get those selling opportunities initially up until the lows or up until the third touch and all the time we target the 90 percent as you all know and then we have another descending channel around this point of which is throwing me off as you can see is because we have this descending channel also around here of which it's a little bit tight it's too tight as you can see we have like this descending channel and then we had this break of structure and then we have another area here of which this area can be that retest area, as you can see. And let me apply to defaults. So as you can see, this is some type of a retest. And then we have this ascending channel. So initially, what I'll do on this one is that we can look for those buying opportunities just because we have this double bottom area here. So uh, another thing that I'm teaching you guys is always be neutral. As you can see, we have another confluence whereby this is a more more established confluence just because we have the double bottom we have the overall descending channel in a large descending channel and another scenario that we have is that we have that nice break of structure impulsively we came back to retest and then we can look for those buying opportunities so that is how i look at all the pairs that I trade, guys, I make sure that the confluences are stacked into my favor. So as you can see, the more confluences you get, the more you are confident with your entries. So this is the entry that I would like to take. This is a nice entry that I'll take because we have a lot of confluences. Simple, simple as that, guys. So as you can see on the lower time frame, that is where you will see like the overall market structure of which it looks nice, guys. As you can see, we have that nice retest. And then we have another descending channel within here around this point here, just like this. So what I'll do is that I'll just wait for the market to give us like some type of a retest around this point here. Let's say we break structure. And guys, comment below if you like how 
I use like support and resistant. And then if you want to, uh, if you want to see like more videos on support and resistant and market structure, so you can break. We can wait for that break of structure, come back, retest, and then we look for those buying opportunities. Initially, this can be our first target, and then the overall target is around this second area, and then we can target this as our outer structures. So this is the long tool that we can use. And then let me just refresh that and change this area here and then apply to default. So we can have our stop loss just below here. And then we look for that as our first take profit, second take profit, and then we have the third take profit. So we are on the four hour. Let's look at that one hour chart and see if it has like something that we can use. So on the one hour chart, that is where we look for entries. As you can see here, we are still correcting to the upside. So what I'll do is that I'll just do this and then make sure that we have a trend. So as you can see, the trend is still intact. We are pushing to the upside. So I'll just do this and then put like this type of trend line. And then what I'll be waiting for is for that break and retest. And then we look for those buys from there. As you can see, this is how simple I trade crash, boom and crash. And then, yeah, guys, I'll see you on another video. I hope you enjoy the content. And then by liking and subscribing, it's not a bad thing. Just because, as you can see, I drop full-on content that has value to you guys. So I'll see you on another video. It's your boy, Bradley Mutahum. Peace and love, guys.